Hello guys and gals, uh, another update here on the Richard Wagner trolley layout. Um, as you can see I have the uh, uh, track uh, untaped from my paper template uh, when I did that. Looks like it uh, pretty close to being within the same geometry. Um, they relaxed a little bit and some of it came undone out of the geometry. But um, shouldn't be that big of a deal. I think uh, when I get it actually on the layout and start spiking things down, I can uh, unsolder some of the solder, uh, the tie solder joints and kind of reshape it a little bit more again. But uh, one of the things that uh, I did is um, got out uh, one of Richard Wagner's um, trailer cars for his Sunnyside Electric, car number three. This was featured in a 1950s era model rotor magazine on an article he had about uh, building streetcars and uh, basically uh, telling the modelers to make the floor separate, not the roof separate. Um, but anyways, uh, since it's a trailer, I can roll this car on the track it seems uh, doesn't don't feel any binding in the in the rails everything seemed to be engaged when I uh, soldered everything so I was not expecting any binding but uh, hey oops a little bit of adrenaline there I think that might be more to the unevenness of the uh, patio table that I'm rolling on and also, it's like I have a joint there that I have to do a little bit of filing. Maybe on, uh, it's pretty smooth, but uh, probably could use a little attention on cleaning up. But again, the only thing I need to do that was on Richard's original uh, layout. Let me grab an X-Acto knife. There was a guardrail on the outside curve where my exacto knife is so I'll have to solder in another rail um, not sure if I'll do that before or after I get that onto the layout probably after being at you know a little bit of uh, adjusting again to the geometry but uh, I think I got it pretty well on my pencil lines that's a little bit off there but uh, it actually looks like it uh, but yeah it uh, I think that's a success and again I have a derailment by that joint but again I think it's more or less to the, the table and not gauge because the uh, I don't feel no binding in the wheels so I would say that this uh, test of uh, doing segments of the rail in this manner is probably a success um, there's probably another segment I'm going to be doing um, of course, I'll need to be figuring out how I'm going to be doing the turnouts. Um, uh, one way I could probably do it is, being that I'm a tool and die designer, I could probably easily enough design a soldering jig to solder, solder them all up in. Or my other option is I have done sketches of the turnouts. And uh, who knows, maybe I might be... Uh, uh, Maybe looking into maybe a custom uh, turnout jig and tooling from uh, Tim Warris at Fast Tracks. That'd probably be my smarter choice because uh, Tim knows what he's doing as far as the design and how to do these turnouts and all the tooling to go with it. Uh, just uh, probably not looking forward to the cost of the, the tooling and the jigs, but like I said before in a previous uh, post on Facebook, I discovered all the turnouts are the same geometry on this layout. There's so that basically means all the turnouts are the same, either left hand or right hand. You know, they're just mirrored of each other. So that'll make it a lot easier when I uh, get around to building this layout, or I shouldn't say not building, but rebuilding this layout. So this is Mike Slater with the Northwest Traction Group, um, saying uh, farewell for now.